Hi guys, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Today, very, very, very exciting video as we have some new updates, version 4.7.1.7 inside of the Pico Neo 3 Link. What's new inside? How do you do the installation? There is a world first inside of the new update. By the way, guys, if you are not aware about this, so together we're gonna explore this now. In the previous updates and the previous videos, I did mention that there were some proportion issues inside of the VR headset when you use a computer. Now, for the Pico Neo 3 Link, for those who are not familiar, you don't need a computer to run this. There are tons and tons of apps inside of the VR headset, which means you can use it completely wirelessly anywhere that you want and have an amazing VR experience inside of this thing. However, there still isn't a code redemption option for people like myself, for example, as a content creator, to be able to contact the developers to provide us a code that we can then redeem and install the actual apps inside of here so we can do more testing and more live gameplay for you guys. At the moment, you can, however, sideload inside of the VR headset via either a USB thumb drive or via your computer. But at the end of the day, many developers aren't willing to provide us the APKs to do this. So we're just gonna have to wait until that option is available. Now guys, the other thing is in previous updates, I did mention about the 3D model proportions that were blown up inside of the Pico Neo 3 Link when you are either wirelessly streaming to your favorite Steam VR games inside of the PC or by using the 4K DP cable, which provides you uncompressed 4K images inside of this machine, which is pretty phenomenal. So I will be talking and taking the HP Reverb G2 to compare this proportions issue. We have two machines up. On the left-hand side, we have the G7 Fury ZenBook by HP. Thank you, HP, for sending this to me. And on the right-hand side, we have my desktop, which is powered by a RTX NVIDIA 2070 graphics card, an i7-9700K PC CPU, and a Hero Maximus 11 motherboard with some NVMe there. But today, we're not gonna be doing graphic comparisons. I just wanna show you whether there it has been fixed inside of the Pico Neo 3 Link when you are, as I mentioned, wirelessly streaming to the PC or using the 4K DP cable compared to the HP Reverb G2. So I can show you those 3D model proportion things that I was talking about in previous videos. All right, guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on, I'm gonna go into VR, put the Pico Neo 3 Link on my face and show you everything in terms of the new stuff in the version 4.7.1.7 update. Let's go. Now to access the update, it's very easy. All you have to do is click on apps or click on your settings and then go to systems update, or you could click on a panel that will be on the right hand side after you click on settings and you can check on check PUI. You should have a red little dot to let you know that there will be, or there is a new update to install there. And then you simply click on it and then the install will automatically start. You can also decide to have the update to be doing in the background whilst you're actually navigating in other apps on the headset. And then sometimes what will happen is your headset will ask you to restart it and then, or it will restart automatically. And then once you're back into the home, boom, everything will be there. Just a reminder also that when you make an update inside of the Pico Neo 3 Link, if you are somebody who is using Steam VR to power all your apps from your computer and not using the apps only or purely inside of the Pico Neo 3 Link itself, go to your software streamer. You'll see on an arrow, there's a little dot, orange dot there, click on it and then run through the installation after it will ask you to reinstall the actual software on your computer as well. Now there could be some antivirus issues there, so do make sure to allow the Pico Neo 3 Link streamer software to update or to access your computer as well. And also once it's done, click make sure for DP. Now you can also choose 90 Hertz refresh rate at HD, also for the streaming wirelessly as well. And then save your settings before you start to launch Steam and power all your apps onto your Pico Neo 3 Link. 
Now guys, after you install everything, you need to go back to the settings and you'll see on device info another red dot to ask you to upload and update something new, which is the Pico Video. Now the Pico Video is a next generation content platform for VR. We are committed to bringing you a wide variety of exciting, immersive audio visual experiences, premium quality. Here you'll find all kinds of premium content, new experiences, VR large format TikTok and immersive and interactive VR our films, Pico Video has it all in one place is what they're telling you. And basically it will just automatically, I think, update the install. Otherwise you just click on the purple bar to install it. And it will take some time, probably around, I would imagine five minutes to six minutes. I think it took me. And then it will automatically update in the background. To access Pico Video, just simply go to the library and you'll see a new thumbnail there called Pico Video, and then it will load up. Although I didn't get any pop-ups or anything to let me know that it was actually installed. Now just click on continue after you read the terms and conditions and you'll see a whole variety of content that just pops up there. And a lot of the content I have to say is in Chinese and I'm not quite sure where all this content is coming from, whether it's from the actual platform itself with the stream and also how you are able to upload your own content to the platform itself. Now there are several different things. You'll see For You, which is very similar to ByteDance on TikTok, also VR videos, and also another thing there that is TikTok. That's right, you are now able to stream TikTok videos directly from your Pico Neo3 link, which is absolutely amazing and a world first. So all you do is click on continue and you will see there, it will ask you to go to a specific link. Of course, offline, you're gonna have to do this on your your phone or on your computer and then put the code there inside of your phone and then just go through the procedures. It doesn't take very long, only a couple minutes. Now you will need a TikTok account in order to bind your Pico Neo 3 link to the TikTok content that will be streaming inside of the headset. Without it, it just won't be possible because the TikTok platform will ask you and well, Pico's Neo 3 link will ask you to bind that TikTok account to your headset directly so then it can stream the content on your VR headset as I just mentioned. So do be aware of this. Now, this is very much, I would say, version 1.0 of the ByteDance VR, although it is pretty exciting because of course, this is the future of virtual reality with social networking, enabling people to be able to bypass having to go on the phone or other devices in order to talk and socialize with other people who have these social networking platforms with them. Now you need to know that you can't yet search for specific content. It is all geolocation based, which means that the content you will see will be based on where your IP address is registered. So for me, it's very much Singapore. Now the other thing that you're not able to do is to lower down the volume or turn off the volume of all the various different Pico ByteDance content on the Pico Neo 3 link, sorry. You have to physically turn down the volume of your VR headset if you do not want to be bothered by the actual TikToks playing if they are perhaps a little bit too loud or you just don't want to hear the sound whatsoever. Now, if you do want to stop hearing the sound, you can also pause the various different TikToks, but of course, it just means you're pausing the video. It doesn't mean you're cutting off the sound as I just mentioned just now. Now you can like, and you can also read all the various different comments. However, you're not able yet to comment on the videos themselves. And also you can't actually change your own profile and you can't yet upload content from your VR headset onto your ByteDance TikTok's account, TikTok's account via the Pico Neo 3 link at this moment in time. As part of the new Pico video update, there is a content management tab there where you can upload and manage content. However, I'm not quite sure how you put content there, where it comes from, because when we go to the video files management, you will see all your normal files that you upload from your computer or from a USB thumb drive inside of there. And then it redirects you automatically to the Pico Cinema where you get to see all the various different content when you put it inside of your Pico Neo 3 link. So I will ask the developers to ask them to see 
you know, what exactly is it? Is it something new where we can upload content into the cloud and they have a cloud server somewhere where we can stream this content directly inside of the Pico News 3 link? Or whether it's going to be a new placeholder where files will be put in the future? I'm not quite sure. So do, you know, hit the notification bell after you subscribe to get the lowdown and the update on this specific part of the Pico News 3 link. Now, before we move on to show you whether the fix for the 3D proportions has been updated inside of the Beacon Neo 3 Link when streaming wirelessly or when using the 4K DP cable to the PC with the Steam VR games, let me just talk to you very briefly about the VR360 content now. It's good that it's there, that now there's a sort of content management platform where there is some VR360 content to be played. Now, is this content directly streamed from specific publishers? I'm not quite sure, as I mentioned, or whether this is a service which will be provided to us individuals where we can actually upload our own content to it. This remains to be seen. Let's see what happens. But the quality of the actual VR360, I need to say, is quite good, although it is the dependent on the platform itself. For example, when I was streaming here, the one about the Safari, it was actually quite blurry inside, depending on the shots, no doubt because of the camera that was used by the actual videographer. And I would say that this was probably filmed quite a few years ago, even though this shot here with the gentleman there was actually much more clear. And the actual text on the videos itself was very clear to read, no issues there whatsoever. You are also able to navigate and exit from the VR360, um, you know, features quite easily and you can also bring back your control panel inside of the app itself just by purely looking at a specific direction and then pressing one of the buttons it will just bring up the UI directly so you don't need to go back to a main menu effectively every single video is a main menu as well now you won't be able to see the controllers they are transparent and there does seem to be some streaming issues sometimes some of the videos don't play straight away it can also take some time to load the videos and you'll just see a black screen for quite a little time sometimes up to 20 seconds before the next video will load. All right, guys, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to put the HP Reverb G2 head-to-head -head with the Pico Neo 3 Link for the latest update of 4.7.1.7 to see whether the 3D models inside of the Pico Neo 3 Link are now proportionate and the same as the HP Reverb G2, as everything in the HP Reverb G2 is perfect. All the models are the right size, comparing it to the real world when streaming games from the PC. Now, as I mentioned before, on the left-hand side, we have the G7 Fury by HP. And on the right-hand side, we have my desktop with my RTX and VTA 2070 and the i7-9700K. However, today is not a graphics comparison and also Please guys, I have all these lights shining on me, so it is definitely not a tracking comparison either today. Just want to see if the 3D models inside of VR, of the Pico Neo 3 Link on Steam VR are proportionate or whether this is still something that Pico need to fix. So let's take a look, shall we? We are inside of Tribe XR, which enables you to become a virtual reality DJ and DJ from anywhere in the world from the comfort of your own virtual reality lounge, which is pretty cool. And I just want you to see how large actually things are. They're larger than my field of view, to be honest with you. And they feel quite stretched compared to, I would say, the real world of what a DJ console is supposed to be like. And if I just bring the actual console closer towards me, just need to move my chair. There we go. And I'm closer towards the console itself. The knobs feel quite big, I have to say. But yet again, it is quite easy to be able to move things around. Of course, it makes things very, very practical in that respect, that's for sure. But it seems to me that Pico have not fixed the 3D proportions inside of the headset because the console to me looks much smaller, less blown out compared to the Pico Neo 3 Link. So let me just grab the actual console now. And again, the buttons feel much more proportionate to what it would look like in the real world, they don't feel so blown out. Now, it's still okay, it still makes it easy to be able to play. I could definitely grab hold of everything here, but it just makes me feel like it's a more realistic 
kind of sensation compared to the real world and less of a, let's say, arcadey or some kind of very 3D game. You know, it feels, it feels just much more realistic. Even the textures look more realistic. Um, you know, the reflections look more, refle more realistic where the light bounces off it, off the metal, those kind of things, because the materials are acting organically and naturally compared to the real world, where on the Pico Neo 3 Link, because everything is so much more blown out, it feels much more fake and much more 3D compared to here with the HP Reverb G2. All right, so now I have the HP Reverb G2 on now. Of course, I don't normally need these headphones for eyes just because I need the microphone to be able to talk to you guys. Let me just click on continue very quickly and then let me go to loadout once again. And first of all, let's look at the hand. Let's compare the hand. Let me just turn over. There we go, so it's a bit easier to see it. Let's compare the hands first from the Pico Neo 3 Link. And I will do a side-by-side -side comparison. So you can see here how the hand feels, first of all, much shorter. The arm doesn't feel as big. And the hand feels much more natural in terms of its size and proportion in comparison to the real world. I hope that you can actually see this on the screen. And then let me just bring up one of the guns now. So let's go to loadout here, go to weapons and let's bring the PX4 again, the same one I was looking at earlier. And then just look at the difference of the gun. Again, the textures feel much more natural on the HP Reverb G2 because the way the light bounces onto the textures, they're not as overblown, they're much more compressed. So therefore there's more detail on the actual weapon itself. And the weapon is definitely smaller and less blown out of proportion. Let me bring out the bigger gun now. Let me just go back. Let me bring this one, the AWP again. And then the textures are just going to load up. There we go. And then just look at the gun and how it is. It feels much more compressed in terms of resolution, less blown out, much more in proportion. But the differences are quite slight. Maybe 1.3, 1.5 less blown out. On the Pico, it definitely feels 1.3, 1.5 more blown out. As you can see here, the differences between the two. So this is something I wanted to show you guys because it's not something that Pico have fixed at this moment in time, or perhaps I'm having an issue with my cable. I'm not quite sure. But let me know in the comments below whether this is something that is happening to you or whether it's just me who's having this issue. Because if you guys are also having something similar, it would be good to know. Because perhaps it is a cable issue. Maybe it is not a software issue. But I'll definitely let Pico know about this and get the response via email, hopefully, in the next few days or next week or so.